Welcome to the Headline Studio tutorial. Let's get started with our first headline. Our headline score is 34, and this is what we want to take a look at first. It tells you how appealing your headline is going to be to readers overall. So that's kind of, you know, how clickable it is, shareable, how uh, it gives you a general idea of what people might think of your headline. Um, and it looks like the score for this one is 34 which is on the lower side of the spectrum. So red score is gonna be pretty low, yellow is a medium okay score, and green would be considered a good score. So as you can see here, we have suggestions right at the top. And these red ones are gonna be the suggestions that are going to increase your score the most. And yellow will increase your score some. Um, and so we can start going through and implementing these into our headline. Um, we have power, emotional, uncommon, and common words, which you'll find in the word balance here. And these are just uh, types of words that get people to click on your headline for different reasons. Um, usually there's a, a balance that you can achieve within your headline that will make it the most clickable. Um, and so that's where we have <laughs> zero balance right now, since this is a pretty short three word basic headline, we can definitely make some improvements there. Um, word count and character count, definitely lower. We can add more words to improve our headline. Um, the headline type is generic. So if we tried rephrasing our headline as a question, a list, a how-to statement, for example, that could increase, increase our clicks and shares. Um, so let's start there. Let's go back up to our suggestions list here. Increase your power words, emotional words, uncommon and common words. You can do all that in these word banks that I just mentioned not too long ago. So you click on open word bank and it'll just open this side tab that contains a thesaurus. So if you wanted to look up a word, you could search for it right here um, in our word banks. So what we wanna do is just take a scroll through the word banks and see if we can find anything to add to our headline in terms of uh, those power, emotional, and other words. So let's start actually with our emotional words. Major skin secret. And this headline is a little bit, maybe a little bit hard for me to optimize without knowing full context of what it means. Um, so I'm just going to go based on what my initial thought was, which could be maybe affordable products. Actually, let's, okay, major skin secret. Actually, okay, let's not do affordable products. Let's do, let's make this a list headline. So we talked about adding numbers and that was actually one of the suggestions down below the, the headline type. So if we do 13 major skin secrets and then instead of affordable, once you click on that, you can actually just, uh, you could find synonyms right there, or you can go back to the list of words. 13 major skin secrets. Attractive. Sounds like it would fit with skin secrets, right? 13 major skin secrets for more attractive skin. Let's see what that does. We'll say that this headline is you know, a, maybe a, a beauty blog headline. That bumped up our score a ton. So we are now sitting at a 76, just from turning our headline into a list headline um, and adding an emotional word in there. So we still have some more suggestions here. We have not included a power word yet. Um, if we increased our common words, that would help too. Um, so we could do that. And then if we did that, it would probably increase our word count too. So let's look at common words. And these are words that are well known. Oh yeah, and then something to note about emotional words too. This, is, uh, this was one of the headline tips that I went over. This entire word bank is those emotional words that get clicks. Um, so it's super nice to be able to just scroll through and easily find those. Um, the little red symbol next to the word means it's a negative sentiment and a green symbol means it's a positive sentiment, which will help give you a good result on the sentiment side um, because positive 
or negative headlines tend to attract more clicks than just a neutral headline. So anyway, common words. 13 major skin secrets from experts. How about we try that because from is a common word, as you can see right here. And if you wanna click on that, again, you'll get taken to the definition. There are no synonyms for from, um, but you would see them there if there were any. So let's try analyzing that. We added one common word and that boosted our score up to 85. Look at that. That's awesome. So at this point, it's telling you, us to decrease our emotional words, even though there's only one in there. No, there's two in there. That's why it's telling us to decrease our emotional words because we don't have any power words. But if we added a power word, then that would balance out the emotional word side. And we'd have a headline that's probably totally in the green. Oh, hey, look at this. Technical difficulties, go figure. All right, we'll see if this works. Usually if that happens, this happens. And of course it happens live. Just try refreshing it or hit the back button and we'll see if this will continue to work for us. Hopefully it will. Oh, you can't do a webinar without some sort of technical, technical issue, right? So I think we're gonna just, well, yeah, we'll leave this one as is. I like the score. We increased it by what, 50 points? That's pretty good. So that's one way that you could optimize that headline to make it more clickable. Um, on the SEO side too, you can see your SEO score for this headline. So whereas the headline score referred to how clickable and shareable and engaging your headline is going to be for most people um, who will be reading it, your SEO score tells you how your headline is likely to perform in search engine results overall. Um, so for example, how it's likely to rank on Google. And this is something that we have totally added from the ground up for Headline Studio compared to the old Headline Analyzer. And that's important to us because there are literally four and a half million blog posts published every day, which makes it seem nearly impossible for your blog to make it to those first pages of Google search results, right? So just like the headline report, the SEO score report is gonna show you areas you can improve in so that your headline has a better chance of ranking higher in those search results. And so more people will hopefully be able to find your headline and your blog post in the first place. It's not a guarantee, but it is definitely going to give your headline a better chance of having those higher rankings in search. So you get a search preview um, this headline performs really well here uh, because it doesn't get cut off in search preview results. So sometimes you'll write a headline that scores highly in the actual score area, but it might be pretty long and it might get cut off in search results. And if that's important to you, you can try shortening it so that the entire headline appears here. Um, you can see your top competition's headline scores and ours is actually higher than 100% of our competitions, which is awesome. You can see an actual list of our top competition too. So you're gonna see all the other skin care tip blogs and beauty blogs out here that are talking about skin secrets, skin care tips, um, all that kind of stuff. And you can see how their headline headlines score. Um, and you can even just get ideas from their headlines, which is really cool, like transform your skin. That could be an interesting thing to try in this headline too. Um, you could do like a top 10. Yeah, there's lots of ideas here. And then you'll get to see a list of keyword variations that are similar to the ones in your headline. Um, so if you wanna change that up, you have a whole list of ideas of keywords and then related questions is where you can see related topics to your headline that your audience is also searching for. So they're looking for what is the secret to beautiful skin? Maybe adding the word beautiful in here instead of attractive would be helpful. That might get a lot of clicks. Um, how do dermatologists get perfect skin? You could say major skin secrets from dermatologists instead of experts, just as, as a different idea. Um, that might be something that your audience is searching for more often. So that's kind of how the, the SEO score side of things works.